Welcome, welcome. It's Una Doyle here. And today we are talking about is being a hero affecting your business success? And this video is part of the Which Creative Entrepreneur Are You quiz trainings. Sorry, it's just going on my phone as well. Um, and this free quiz is designed to stop any overwhelm or confusion and identify what are your best top three steps for you to take and also what are the top three mindset shifts for you to make in your business as well. And that's actually one of the things we're going to be talking about here today. And um, because we're talking about what is the first mindset shift for you to make if your quiz result is is where you come out as a dreamer. Now. Um, th the thing is, is that quite often when people are feeling like, oh, clients aren't going to pay me more or um, everything else seems to come be in front of my business, then quite often that's because, um, you know, you might be thinking, well, the only way around this is to work hard. But actually, there's a lot more that can be done beside that, because here's the thing. Maybe what's really going on, if this is you is that you might feel obliged to serve those who can't afford to pay you instead of raising your prices. Or maybe you're not setting good boundaries so that you have the time and the space to run your business. And, and all of this comes about when, when people are, um, are feeling that, you know, I'm not as important or maybe I just don't want to be facing up to what's really going on. So I'm going to focus on helping everybody else too. And, you know, it can, it can seem, it can seem like this is the best thing to do, but actually what you really need to be doing right now is focusing on your own standards. What do I mean by that? It's, it's by focusing on your standards around time and around money and around your attention so that you can increase your earnings and actually be in a better position to help other people. Does, does that sound like something you would like to do? Let me know. Give me some hearts if any of this is resonating with you at all. Now, you see, the thing is, is that, you know, if being a hero and in helping other people means that you have got money stresses, then the chances are you're actually not really being a hero. Maybe you're being a martyr. Now, I know that might be quite hard to hear, and I had to go through this myself. I was running a low-priced group program, and, and I, you know, it helped the people that were in it, definitely, but often they weren't in the position to, to really make the most of it, and I was not able to focus on serving clients where I could really make a ma really make a massive difference with them, um, and that was affecting my earnings. So I had to completely restructure my business to make sure that I was able to look after myself first, and I'm looking next year to be able to give back to charity, and maybe I might have some scholarship places in, in my group programming that I'm opening next year, and these are the kinds of things that you can do when you have got enough flow of, of money going through your business. Whereas if there is struggle going on, then the chances are that this, this is not, you know, what's working for you at all. Okay, so uh, let me just share this out there. For those of you who don't know me, by the way, my name is Una Doyle. I'm just going to... Um, uh, get this shared out. My name is Una Doyle. I'm the founder of creativeflow.tv and I help creative service providers such as designers and website people and animators and photographers, content producers to be able to confidently and profitably stand out from the crowd doing creative work that they love, that fills the heart with pride and also to be able to do it without feeling like they're selling their soul. Um, and I have, I'm also the host of my new Facebook group and you can see the details down in the in the lower third there. It's called the Create Courageous Creatives Community. I've literally only opened the doors to that just a few days ago. So if you search for that, and in fact I'll pop a link in the um, in the chat uh, in the comments uh, once I have finished this as well. Okay, so what we talked about then is instead of putting yourself out to help everybody else. Instead, what you need to do is put on your own oxygen mask. Now, I actually worked as an air stewardess for a year when I first came over to England from Ireland. So I know all about this. I went through all the training and I really get 
what that means, putting on your own oxygen mask before trying to help somebody else. Because think about it, if you imagine, if you were on a plane and, you know, God help you, if something was going wrong and the oxygen masks dropped down from that plane, um, you know, if you didn't put on your oxygen mask first and you were maybe trying to help an elderly person or a child beside you, but then you can't go because you haven't got enough oxygen, then they're not getting the help they need. And that's what I want you to be thinking about with your business. You have got to structure it in such a way that it is a viable business for you, that you are not killing yourself in the process of running it, that you are serving people who are ready and willing to invest in themselves to have your help, you know, so that you can do great work with them and that they value it and they appreciate it and they get the benefit from it. And um, because it's so draining, I know there's so many people I have talked to who are undercharging and often over delivering goes hand in hand with that. And I, I really feel for those people. And, it, you know, often it doesn't take a lot to put the things in place to completely change that around. So if you want to know more about that, make sure that you, you know, like this page and come and join me in the creators community, a courageous creators community. And we can talk more about that. Because the thing is, when you focus on your own standards, when you focus on making sure that you are maximizing every minute, that you have a plan in place, that you know what you need to achieve and, and that you are motivated to do so and that you are focused. And we talked more about that um, on, on in the last video and I'm going to be talking more about it from a different perspective tomorrow. Um, and all of that means that you are in, in such a better place to help other people. Trust me, it is not being selfish. I know that's what some people feel. They feel, but who is going to serve those people if I don't? Trust me, there are a load of people out there who can help them, but you are going to be able to help them in a much better way by actually looking after yourself first and structuring your business in that way. So now is not the time to be a hero. Now is the time, is actually to be a hero to yourself. You know, to look after, because really, if you think about it, a hero is all about saving other people. And I don't want you to be in a position where you need to be saved. OK, that is not what I am about. That is not what you want to be about. You want to be in a situation where, you know, you don't need to be saved and you are working with people who also don't need to be saved. And you have a fair and equitable exchange of value going on your services for their money. That is what I want for you. So, so you have a profitable business. You have a business that is fun to work with, where you get to be in creative flow and do work that fills your heart with pride. Okay, so have a think about that. And please comment below and let me know what are your thoughts around this. Is this a situation you're in or doesn't it apply to you? Do you see other people who are in this situation? Tag them in the comments. Um, maybe this is a situation you're in and you're not quite sure what to do about it. You're not sure how to apply this out. So come and join me in the create, Courageous uh, Creators community if that is a situation for you. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up now. Make sure to um, click and get notified about the other lives that are going out. I'm doing them every day <laughs> until we get through all the stages because we have dreamer, worker, builder and leader. So obviously I'll have a few days off over Christmas, <laughs> but I will be doing them all this week. So there is loads of things to help you move forward in your business. Look forward to speaking with you. Thank you. Bye.